My name is Moya Koloko. I am an assistant lecturer in the Center for Film and Media Studies. I'm the founder and coach of the UST Paris Sports Club, and I'm about to receive my PhD in Media Studies for my research on children's responses to video game violence. Well, I've been a lifelong gamer. I think I first played games, I want to say 1991, maybe before then. But um, since then, really have enjoyed video games. Growing up, you would hear uh, stories where it's like, hey, you know, careful, these things might not be good for you. Getting closer to Vasti, I then was exposed to research on uh, violence in video games and how, uh, you know, there's a whole body of literature uh, debating on how harmful that could be to children. My PhD in media studies, it was about how children respond to violence uh, in games versus how they respond to violence in the environment around them. I wanted to show uh, that children should be given more credit uh, than they are about how they actually engage with uh, not just violence in games, but also just with life in general. Children were able to engage with uh, violence in games as something completely separate uh, from violence uh, in the world around them. So violence in games was a way to win. It was a tool. But they realized violence in the world was something that you really should avoid. Whereas something, uh, you know, when violence happens in games, usually it's part of what engages you in the game. So uh, they had a lot of fun uh, speaking about violence in games uh, and engaging with it, you know, when they were playing games. It, it really was that where you could just, yeah, the, the joy that they had was, uh, was palpable. Having those conversations is important. Helping them understand that what they do in a game stays in the game. And that there are behaviors that are perfectly acceptable in terms of furthering the story of the game, you know, and in terms of engaging with the rules of the game. But those, uh, you know, those actions do not actually uh, translate to doing the same in the world around you. Given that most of the studies uh, around video games and particularly violence in video games are done in the global north, to have a study situated in the global south really is a slam dunk, I would say, because now we can say in an environment like South Africa where you know there are high rates of crime, children are exposed to, uh, to forms of violence, here are the perceptions of violence. Here's what children say violence is, and here's what violence does in the context of a game. Paints quite an interesting picture that might be different globally. You know, so now, you know, when people talk about these things, we can say, hey, this might not be universal because here is what we have found. And also to give a picture of what gaming is uh, in the global south, uh, I think has been quite a useful exercise. It's a, it's a massive, massive relief, uh, first and foremost. It has been a long journey. Uh, having done all uh, my previous uh, degrees at UCT, completing my PhD at UCT was a natural choice. I was supervised primarily in the Center for Film and Media Studies uh, and had co-supervision in psychology because my previous degrees uh, were in psychological research. I have to, have to, have to pay tribute to my supervisors because you know, through all of it, uh, they supported me. You know, obviously my family uh, has been there and, you know, was actually the main form of in uh, inspiration for me to, uh, to complete um, my PhD. So I uh, lost my mum in 2021. Um, and I mean, one, I'll say I really do not recommend uh, attending funerals uh, online, but due to travel restrictions, that's how I had to attend that one, which uh, I'm not gonna lie, that was an incredibly dark moment. Uh, and it was difficult to sort of pull myself out of dealing with that. Um, you know, you start to question, does anything really matter? You know, should I keep actually pursuing this when 
part of why I did it was to honor this person who's now no longer, like, you know, I can't actually look for her in the crowd uh, when I'm on stage. Um, but through that, I remembered that, you know, really she worked so hard, uh, as did my father when he was alive, to make sure I had the opportunities to pursue what I wanted to pursue. And so I thought, um, there's no way I'm turning around when, you know, again, one job, one job is all I was given uh, by my parents in life and that was to pass. It feels like I've completed the story. You know, it feels like I have done what I was sent to do. Uh, and, you know, when you're given a job, you do it. I was given one job in life and that was to pass. I can now say I have gotten my PhD through UCT.